We're rambling again. So I was going to tell you all about this before my camera realized it wasn't working. That uh, this fan came from my dad's house. He it was sitting down in amongst some stuff, and I brought it home with me years ago. And I didn't like these fan blades for some reason. I just thought it'd be real smart to paint them. Well, let me tell you, don't ever do that because what happens is they ain't balanced no more. And so when you turn it on, it woggles. Something like this. It's woggling now. now. I remember Josh came up, he spent the night here one night and that chain started woggling around like that and making a racket. He's going, Dad, I can't sleep down there with that thing making that noise, but I still need a fan. And so he was up here in the middle of the night doing the same thing I've been doing, which was sticking clothes pins and clothes hanger wire and clips and all kind of junk on there. So I was thinking, well, dang, that's not very good. Of course, we get by with it, but it ain't very good. Well, I was over at my neighbor's house the other day, and he had this in here in the back of his pickup truck. That's a pretty good-looking fan right there. And uh, he said he wanted 10 bucks for it. And I was thinking about swapping it out. But I was also wondering if I could just swap the blades off of that one and put them on this one, and if that would fix it. Hmm, you never know. But it might be worth a try. So that's what I'm thinking about doing right now more than anything else. I think I'll pop a blade or two off and try seeing if they all interchange. And if they do, I could do that, and then we could go from there. Is that okay with you, honey baby? Sure is. Is that your pictures? Yeah. This is my honey baby's been doing a photography class, and this is her picture she's been taking <laughs> for her photography. She's supposed to photograph food. Yeah. That looks pretty snazzy right there, if you ask me. <laughs> you're pretty snazzy. You're a pretty snazzy photographer. You know, she sold a boatload of stuff in the sale today. You sold me a boatload of stuff. You are awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's because I'm a salesman. Y'all yeah. want to buy a used car? <laughs> I got a few. Some of them run. Okay, there's my fan with new blades on it, and now is the moment of truth. The moment when we will either experience truth. T R U F F, truth. This is truth. 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 The moment of truth. This is the moment of truth. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a video about the moment of truth. You keep interrupting me. Will you cut that out? Please, Louise. <laughs> Moment of truth is about to come up where we will either have the glory of victory or the agony of defeat. 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 Uh, defeat. The agony of defeat or the glory of victory. And it's all going to be determined by one little pull of that string right there. You ready for me to pull that string out there? Right, chair. You ready me to pull that string? Right, chair. Here, you videotape me pulling that string. And you can, you can record this moment in history. You ready? Hickstery. It's going down in Hickstery. You ready? His you ready? Hicks you ready? It's going down in Hickstery. Go! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not going. Uh-oh. That's not going. I think that's a fail. I think we're down. Oh, yeah. That's worse than before. That's at least as bad as it was. Wee! Okay, I didn't Whee! work. I didn't Dang, work. I say. Okay, so you know what that means? That means next, my next video is going to be about me taking that fan down and putting that fan up. And yeah. I guess I might as well go ahead and pull all them blades off in there because they ain't going to work. So yeah. Dang, I say, and dang again. Dang. Dang, dang, I say. Well, I'm feeling the agony of defeat right now. Dang, I say.